let's go to the Visual Studio Code. Now, when we add, oh goodness gracious, I never changed the title. Okay, so it's company management console. All right, so when we click on add button of add component, a message will be passed on here in the app component and from this method we want to access the array list which is there inside the app list and to do that we have an option to reference children of the parent using view child to do that we need to assign an ID to the list let's call this as app list and on add click let's go to the method on add click we have to access the company's list right here and push the object inside that array all right and to do that we have an option called view child import it from the core and the child type is list component right here let's call it a name add list of type list component so this is nothing but this reference right here so app list is what we have to name it all right and when we get on here we can say this dot app list dot companies dot push and then event dot uh, let's see what we have in the event object on the console so save this let's click on add so so we need to access parents object and company disk company name from that object okay so let com name Since we don't have the color, let's assign the color randomly. So this would assign, generate a random hexa color. push all of these into an object new company let's see so these are the names that we need to give let's copy that so comp name would be comp name description would be description 
BGC, BGC. Okay, and now let's push this new company into the array. Okay, so to summarize, when the add button is clicked, we call on add click in app component, and on on add, we are referencing the event params object and getting the name and description and randomly generating a color and creating a new object out of all these values and pushing it to the company's list by referencing the child called app list within our app component which is here okay so save all your changes Add a new company called net app storage and click on add so we get the new company but looks like the color is not assigned so let's see looks like I didn't get the color coding generation part right so this is the code that I am right now using it seems to work fine so let's try one more time so let's enter company name description click on add cool so we now have added a new company to our array list let's add another company infosys awesome now when we click on this company we get its relevant details excellent isn't it that's all for this one and in the next one let's see how we can use services to consume the data from the rest apis all right that's all for this one stay tuned share and subscribe Cheers.